Hey guys, it's Jen DeLeon. I'm so excited to be talking to Pilo today about your new album, Stunna. How are you doing? I'm doing great, doing great. Great, just straight from Vegas. We're both straight from the plane. Yeah, straight, straight from the plane. Just straight traveling, from the plane. Mo moving and grooving. We know? work hard. I yeah, was like, yeah. literally when I saw you were at the 49ers game, I'm like, wait. I think the interview is still tomorrow. Yeah, like, <laughs> you were like, I hope, I hope it's still going tomorrow. I'm like, we'll be good. How are you doing? Doing, doing good. Just, just moving around. Uh, just promoting the album. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, yeah, just, just staying in motion. Staying yes. in motion. I feel like the last time we saw each other was when we spoke on the panel, like two years ago. Yes, uh, two, three what, years what ago. What was that at? Uh, it was Loyola. Loyola. Okay. Was oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. it was three years yeah. ago. So yeah, time that, was, that was like prior. That was like prior, prior to COVID. COVID. Prior COVID. Yeah, yeah, that was like the last thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, yes. But. So I definitely want to talk to you about Stunna. So, so many things to talk about, but what I want to first start with is how the theme of this album is, you know, confidence, positivity, and believing in yourself. So what made you want to go with these themes for this album? Um, I think it was just, uh, that was just something that I was feeling as, as a human and, and uh, having confidence in, in what I was doing and, and, and what me and the team were like focusing on. And, and I feel like, that just like came through the music and that was just like our, our real like goal. And I, I think I think I hopefully I was able to like transfer that into the music. So that that was like all the stuff I was feeling, all the stuff that um, you know, like the human like the human growth within me as a just human is just like transfers into the music. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how do you think you've grown as a human since your last project and then now with Stutter? Um yeah, I mean I think I think that from 2019 until now, there was a lot of different changes between not in, not only myself but like everywhere around me. So like I I wanted to be able to like, um, just really just like sit in that and, and figure out that what who I am and I feel like Stunner was able well, I was able to figure that out and really just have confidence in myself and just like and sometimes just as 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 humans we always like question ourselves or like. Um, but it's like, I feel like that having that confidence and having that belief, having that faith that you're always where you're supposed to be and what mm -hmm. you're always supposed to be doing, what you're supposed to be doing is like, that's what like Stunna is about. Was there something that, I mean, like you said, everyone can struggle with confidence. We all have our own mm -hmm. insecurities, especially mm -hmm. with social media and comparing. So like, what helped you to really gain that confidence and not look to anybody else or compare yourself to anyone? Uh, I, I think. I mean, I think it's 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 like it, it really starts just with within. It starts within me because like, um, it's like you're saying. There's so much things that could like change your your perspective and views on the world and even your, yourself. So it's like, I think it's like really doing that 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 self like discovery and and just it and hit, hitting those hitting those like rock bottom moments or hitting those like times of adversity is just like that's really where you figure out who you are so it's like absolutely that's great advice yeah so, uh, so one thing i really wanted to talk to you about and i was excited about was okay so we're both filipino mm -hmm. and in filipino culture it's pretty much expected for you to be a nurse yeah. and be in the medical field and yeah. i want to know like what how was your parents' reaction when you told them you wanted to be an artist and not go the traditional route of a Filipino? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think I've always, um, like, I'm the baby of the family. So, like, uh, I really got to just be able to, like, always go against the grain of, like, okay. <laughs> what I was doing. Like, my, like my older siblings kind of caught some more flack for, for, like, not doing got going in that direction so by the time it got to me my parents were just like all right whatever like I, yeah <laughs> like yeah. how many siblings do you have i have two I, older brother older sister okay so so uh my sister's the oldest my and then my brother's the middle but i'm the baby so i was like they had like a cushion so but even that like I, even that i was like i was like playing basketball so like i and i that was something that i first wanted to pursue Okay. And then there were, you know, there was like always pushed back. They're like, oh, why don't you just like focus on school or focus on? And I was like, oh, I want to do this. And and then once once like the basketball thing kind of like fizzled out, I was like, no, I want this. I want the music. And now it was just like they were just like, hold on, wait. No, you got to like figure out school and all that stuff. But I think it, I think it's like, um, you know, sometimes you want to li like listen to your family and you know the, the, and and they, they 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 know what's best for you also so it's like but also it's like i wanted to like 
I have, this is my life, you know, and this is the life that I want to leave. And, and you know what I'm saying? And of course you want to make sure you're like, you listen to the people around you and your, your circle and your team. And, but you know, at the end of the day, it's like everyone has their own journey and like filling out, fulfilling yourself is like really important. Was there a, a point where, even though you said, so you're the baby, so you can do what you want. Yeah. Was there a point where your parents were like, okay, like yeah. this is, he doesn't have to go into the medical field. He doesn't have to figure out school. Like he figured it out. And he's good. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. <laughs> like, I feel like um, the, the, there, there'd be uh, like my, 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 mom worked, my mom worked at a hospital. So, you know, she was, she would, uh, her coworkers would be like, oh my God, your son's doing so well. She's like, for real? <laughs> She was like, your son's famous, like, and I was just, and she's just like, oh, I get, I was just like, all right. But, but, <laughs> all right. And then, then, but like, and then even like, um, my, my dad, my dad works for like the city of San Francisco. So like people would like come up to him and be like, yo, like, can I get like tickets to your, to your son's show? Like we're huge fans and stuff, stuff like that. So it's like, I think once like that kind of like started, like those things, like moments and stuff started to happen, they were just like, all right. He's all right. He he's cool. He he's fine. And like they kind of just like eased up off everything. So that's amazing. Yeah, it was cool. I like the all right. Like <laughs> they're like all right. He's all right. He he'll be fine. So okay. So one thing I like to do every time I'm talking to someone about an album is mm -hmm. I like to pull some of my favorite lyrics mm -hmm. from the track list and ask mm -hmm. something about it, but not necessarily about that lyric to get yep. more of the personal mm -hmm. side. So first one is Stun a Anthem. Well, before we get into that, so I love the music video mm -hmm. and how you tie into so many different Filipino roots from like the food to the Jabberwockies. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, how was that? Like, how was that even experience of just filming that? It was just such a fun video that mm -hmm. it's like you just wanted to be there. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Like, I, I mean, I one thing I always want to like do is like, I want to be able to represent and like show the things that like I grew up on and the things I like that, that I like really appreciate about my like my culture and, and who I am and like I think like that video is like I, it was it was done with my homie Brandon um and he's Filipino too so it's like and then on top of the Jabberwockies like it was like it was hella random like we were actually um I was at a Joe Koi concert and uh the Jabberwockies ended up like uh bringing me out because i was just in town randomly so after that we're like we're kicking it hanging out and um i was like playing them the album and i played them that song and they were like yo can we like can we dance yeah, yeah can, can we like can we do some stuff for it and i was like what i was like hell yeah like let's figure it out so that's kind of even like how, how even wow. that even came together um and that was so random and that was like you know and i feel like that was like a meant to be kind of thing too and you know the job walkies are like i've known them for a while so it's like they're super cool and and yeah, like I think it's just oh I just always want to be able to like represent and like show my culture and and what I came up in like in a different light, you know. Mm. Well, it was a really great video, thank you, thank you, and thank that's you. a yes. That's absolutely was meant to be for them to ask. Like, yeah. That must have felt so good because it's like, of course, you would want them in it. And the fact that you didn't have to ask for that. And it no, was yeah, like, yeah. Because <laughs> I initially was like, I asked them for like, I was gonna like, sh I had like an, another video for them in mind, but they were like, no, 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 no we want to do this one. What was the other one that you had in mind? Uh, it was it was the song that that that, that ended up not even coming out. So. Okay, well, maybe in the future. <laughs> yeah, hopefully in the future. But 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 yeah, like it ended up it ended up did not making the album, but like. It was like, um, but they were like, they were really adamant. They were like, no, 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 no. we want to do this one. So I was like, okay, maybe that that's a sign that like, you know, that one's like a, a good vibe. The Jabberwockies have to be on every single album now. I, every, I, I video, hope so. One song I like hope each. so. I would love that. How did, well, okay, so I, how many songs did you originally have when you were recording Sun and then how um, did you narrow it down? I think I'm, I have 12, 12. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like yeah. th 13 or 12 songs. Yeah. Um, I mean, I had over like, maybe like a hundred, 150 songs. Wow. Um, but like, I mean, I, there was like points where I th like, I thought that I had, I, had, I thought I had the album like twice and I was just like, nah, I'm gonna go back and record. I'm gonna go back and like find another vibe. Like, and, and that was something that like, you know, and that's even like, like the, like the question to myself too, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But like, um, and like figuring out what, what I'm trying to like, push and really be intentional with um so yeah like it was like 
100, 150 songs. Like, I have a hard time just trying to pick what I like want to eat, mm. like let yeah, alone no, sure. 150 exactly. songs. And it's a, so you said there was a few times that you thought the album was done. The, and it yeah, did. it was like it was probably like two times. Like we thought the album was done, and we had, we had, mm. we like got it. We were like, okay, we're done. And then we were like, no, let's go back in. And but yeah, it was it was, it was definitely a process. But like that's also like something that is like. It's it's just a true journey, mm -hmm. like uh, it, it's like a microcosm of life. It's just like everything's a journey. Everything's like a path, and you just gotta just like follow that path and whatever you believe in. I love that. So okay, my favorite lyric on Stunna Anthem was "I'm a mood." Yeah, I'm out here because I got a lot to prove. I always laugh when I say it because I'm not a rapper. <laughs> like you should say the line yeah. instead. Um, what are your next goals professionally and personally? Um. I just I just want to continue to uh, like grow, just in, in any field, or, and I, I just want to be where I'm supposed to be at all times. Um, like, of, of course, I have like goals and certain things I want to do, but like, I want to be able to receive those things and when I'm supposed to receive them, and how, like, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I, I'm just like, you know, I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm along for the ride, you know. Yes, is there? I love that you said that because it's there could have been so many different answers, like a bucket list of stuff, but mm -hmm. it's like, you know how to get to those things. Was there like a last thing that you came up with where you're like, okay, I have to make this change about myself to be able to grow and like receive those blessings. Um, an example, like on my end, I was like, okay, instead of me just praying, like, you know, praying in my, in my head, I'm like every night now I'm going to start writing it. Mm -hmm. And I started doing that for the past month. And it was like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm sticking to that. And mm -hmm. I felt like more blessings came in just, just by making that little change. Yeah. I, I think it's like, yeah, I think it's, uh, there are certain things that like, um, like you're saying, like writing stuff down and then also just like, like we really, I like, I, I like, like putting in, putting in all the work and just like, like surrendering to whatever the universe is like has for me and like and just uh, literally having faith in in the the work i put in and and what um, and whatever the ha the universe has for me so i was like do you have a a faith story where it's like it's like you pray about something or you're like all right god this and then it, it actually like happened and you're like oh wow like faith really did work because i feel like it it sounds so cliche to have faith but it's like no when you've experienced it and mm -hmm. you've experienced it's like no that it's literally as easy as just having faith yeah yeah i think i mean i, I like even this being here you know yeah. it's like it's like being able like having the album out it's just like i didn't know when i was gonna have being able to like put it out or just like even like having the, the like blessings to even like do that do it mm -hmm. you know and have people like listen to it it's like that's still like something that i like i have faith in it and something i believed in. so it's like it's still it's like still happening it's, it's like mm -hmm. everything's like still unfolding and um i think but but yeah like faith is just like it's, it's such a it's such a like uh it's delicate mm -hmm. it's super delicate and like something some things can like change your change your faith and but just as long as you have that like real stunner mentality that's what like really really is what the album's about it's like just doubling down on who you are and and really like sitting in that so mm -hmm. Uh, my next one, so this was good featuring Larry June, which you also did a video with as mm. well. I love your music videos too because it's just like I said, it's it's very like you wish you were there, and like it looked like it was fun to look yeah, shoot, no, and it sure. was a, it was like a party. So um, no, they want to see me doing bad, but I'm good. So how do you deal with haters, or what advice do you have for people to deal with haters? Um, I think you know haters are is haters are just like um there's adversities in your life and you know and how how we deal with the adversities we, we we take things head on and um we address them and we really grow from them and that's what i was talking about that earlier it's like really taking those uh taking those those chances of like being uncomfortable and and really like uh sitting in that and doubling down on who you are and just being like no nah, this is me this is who I am, and that was that's a, that was one of the songs that I actually first made in the pandemic, like the yeah. first week of the pandemic. Like I made like that was one of the songs that I like. That was like one of the songs I recorded, and that was like one of the songs that stuck through all those like album. Like I thought I had the album, and I and then you knew it was it yeah. had to be on yeah, there. and then it yeah. had to be on there. So yeah, like really just like man, 
Fuck them, to be honest. <laughs> That's the first thing. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck em. You know, fuck do em. you. Put it right do there. you. Other thing. Do you. You feel me? <laughs> well, when was the time you felt you were doing bad and how did you overcome it? Um, I, Like, I, I made that song the first week of the pandemic, so I, I, I didn't know what was, like, what was going to, like, no one knew what was going to happen. But I just had that that faith and, that and cool. that, that faith that, like, you know, we're going to be all right. We're going we gonna to figure it out. We're going to. We're going to prevail. Is there any song on the album? So you said Good was that first week of the pandemic. So is that the the furthest back a song was recorded? Or is there one even um, prior to the pandemic that made the cut? No, I think that might have been the the, the, the most Good. furthest back. Um, yeah, I think so. I think so. I think that... No, I lied. I think <laughs> I, I think it was Twenty Second Ways interlude. Like one of the like the second half of Twenty Second Ways interlude was like I had that like prior to the pandemic. Does that like okay? So I'm not an artist, but you know, like even with social media, like when you have a a post or something, you're like, oh, like is it too late? Or like even with me, sometimes I'll be picky with content because I'm like, oh, I shot it like a month ago, even though no one knows that. Yeah. So it's like, do, do artists have that that itch of like it has to come out, or do you just have the patience of? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, like, I, I, I think I have some of that, but also it's like having the confidence of just like, well, no one's even, no one even knows no, I, I good. did this like how long ago. It's like, you know. I love that that was the first week of the pandemic, and you had that kind of mentality because I feel like most people, when pandemic was happening, probably didn't have that mentality of like, oh, it's all good. It's you know. Yeah, th- yeah. Th- There's a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot of a lot of shit going on, and no, yeah. no one knew it was gonna happen. But, um, like, I, I knew at some point we were going to figure, all of us were going to figure it out exactly. and, 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 and make it on the other side. So, and we're here now. Yes. And everything's back open. And, everything, and we're good. A few more songs. So the next one, mental health. What advice do you have for people to protect their mental health? Um, just really, um, even that song's like, um, I know the song's like, I had, to, I had to cut a bitch off. <laughs> but, you know, the bitch can be, anything in your life that doesn't serve you another you, definition yeah like you bitch. know yeah it's, it's just like a context where it, it, like the bitch can be anything that doesn't serve you anything negative anything that that just doesn't help you grow or you know so that's what that's kind of like i, I like that because i definitely thought it was just about because yes you do have to cut people off cut yeah, toxic people yeah, off yeah. Cut, but it's like i love the the play on that where yeah, it can yeah, be anything yeah, 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 yeah. It, it could be anything <laughs> you know you know as i think as humans we give things definitions we give things power mm-hmm. you know so it's like yeah we got we gotta you know it's context cut the bitch off cut the bitch off <laughs> okay my last one my ghetto report card the freestyle so what were your favorite and least favorite classes in um, school i didn't really like um I didn't really like English class, or I didn't really like like reading like that. But I was really, really good at math. Okay. I was really, okay. really good at math. I was like, I was a really like I like in college. I was I went up to like calculus too. Wow. So I was I was I was, I was yeah because I was trying to like my parents were trying to like have me do like engineering and stuff like that. Um, so I was like, oh, that's cool. I like I, I like math, so I was like, yeah, oh, I'll, I'll fuck with it. But. Um, <laughs> But uh, like, but like, like writing essays and shit like that. That 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 wasn't really my my, my style. Did you have a favorite teacher? Um, who was my favorite teacher? Uh, some of my favorite teachers were in like elementary school. To be honest, um, the, the, there was my third grade teacher, uh, Doctor Rom R I P. She was a legend. Doctor Rom. She yeah she was yeah she was a doctor but she was a third grade teacher she was like this I was old, gonna say I'm she, like <laughs> you know for real she yeah, was she was wow. a, like she had a doctor but she was just this old Filipino lady but she was like hella strict she was honest but like she really is like but after like third grade I really like that's why I really like turned up in school like that. <laughs> the third grader turning up <laughs> that's really like let's, that's just, really, let's break that down what do you mean you turned up yeah to like third that's grade. what I really like understood <laughs> like oh no like I'm like hella smart and I could like it just like I could do a lot of stuff right? and then like the next year like in like the fourth grade I had like straight A's the whole time and uh, Mr. Equebe and uh, Mrs. Equebe she was, she was really she was really hard too she was, she was the, shout the out to Mrs. Equebe yeah, yeah shout out to her so you talked about third grade you and fourth grade you so who were you in high school? Um, I, was, I mean, I played basketball. Right. I played, but yeah. I was an athlete, so was like, I didn't really like. I was like trying to do my school, and I was. Um, I really, I like, I was. 
I was trying to focus on school, but I like, you know. School sucks. School sucks. <laughs> high, high, school, high, school <laughs> high school is an experiment, I think. Isn't it? That's true. It's, an it's like when you're in high school, you think you know everything, but you have not experienced You haven't life done anything. At all. You haven't done anything. But uh, I feel like, bas- like basketball really helped me, like, uh, really figure out a lot of things about myself. Like, um, a lot of been oh, had a lot of adversities and things like that. Just, and I think that really shaped who I was. And like, I had a lot of like great coaches, a lot of great mentors, a lot of like older people that was like looking out for me. So it's like, I feel like that was a really like um, shaping area in my life, which got me here. I think got you to Stunna. Yeah, got me to Stunna. <laughs> So um, I, I do want to talk about, that was all I had for, like, the songs. I mean, we could have kept going on and on, yeah. but those are my favorite mm-hmm. ones. So you have the Stunna collection. So I saw you have everything from shot glasses to chains to, sh- like, you have a lot. So what made you want those specific things for your merch, and how can people get the collection? Uh, you can go, to, go grab the collection at pilo.com. Um, but, like, yeah, well, like, one of the, one of the, one of the um, items is, like, a clock. Oh yeah, I did see that yeah, too. Yeah, so, but like, um, and also like one of my like my drop my my drop is like pillow time and bring the bass back, so I wanted to like have that clock and just like it's time. It's like, but but I feel like it's just like a dope thing that like people can just like have up at their crib and it's just, it's like a it's like a, oh wait that, that's like a that's like a pillow thing, um, but like but also like I think all the, all the. Uh, the designs and stuff are really cool. Like there's like a, the hoodie was just like it was like a picture of my grill, mm-hmm. and it's like, yeah, it was. Pretty I like cool. all the colors. I just like that. They're even well, I like the shot glasses because it's like not usually you'll see you know hoodies and shirts, but I'm like, oh, a shot glass. Yeah, yeah, like, like we want, yeah, we were trying to do is like you know have like these special little items that just just people can really like. Oh no, it's, it's like it's not just like hoodies and sweatshirts, like little items that like people really could like gravitate to. So definitely get yours. You see this, just pilo.com? Pilo.com. Yes. And then the last thing, so, I mean, you already gave so much great life lesson advice, mm-hmm. but I love to ask, like, what's the ultimate life lesson advice you have for your fans or people watching this interview? And it doesn't even have to be even about that music mm-hmm. or not music related. Um, I think uh, having confidence shows, believing in yourself and not letting people put their fears on you. Ooh, I like that. Like, like you know, sometimes, pe- sometimes people just like, I mean, even like you know, your your parents and stuff like that. You know, they have you know, my my parents came here from the Philippines and you know, and they 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 knew they knew a certain way of how to do things and stuff like that. But you know, that was their sacrifice that they had to do so I can have this better life and I could live live freely you know and, and and do what i wanted to do but um yeah just I, I think just not letting people put their fears on you because you know that's that situation worked out for them in that in that space but it might it might not work out like that for you you know so it's Absolutely. like i think i think that's really uh like some real game that, right that is <laughs> that was a really good one yeah um so before i let you go i actually have a gift for you Oh wow, I love so, gifts. Oh, <laughs> gifts are cool. I was like, I was gonna have a table. So, um, oh, wow. my friends at Manscaped, I don't know if you heard of Manscaped, so they give me packages to give to all my guests. So oh, wow, this, this is, is awesome. the perfect package, four point. It has everything in oh, there. Wow. So it's like, oh, like, wow. your balls will thank you. So, oh, I like so you, that. Yeah, so oh, yeah, I've, I've been looking for this kind of style, actually, so. <laughs> this, this might be cool. Oh, they got the little shavers, shaver style. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, there's everything, and even if you open underneath, there's, oh. there's more. So oh, some some boxer briefs. Some briefs, and then oh, a, oh, cool look, a little, little travel case. Oh, travel I like case. that. So oh yes. wow, shouts out to Manscape. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, look at this thing. I actually haven't seen this yet because I wanted them to send me it. Their marketing is incre- we incredible. We save balls. I like that. Keeping balls from sticking to one's leg is no laughing matter. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It, it's not. It's not. It's not good. Yes. You know, it's, it's, and it's hot in LA. It's really hot in LA. So you really need. Yeah, no, no, you, 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 need, you need the manscaped stuff. No, so yes, yeah, so this was from them. Wow. Um, so there. Oh wait, this goes underneath. They give oh. you a lot. Oh wow, this, this is, is awesome! A, Shout out to Manscaped. Yes. So hope you enjoy that. 
Um, wow. Yes, and oh, wow. if anyone wants anything from Manscaped, you can just use Jen for 20% off and free shipping. Oh, so we love hope that. you enjoy we love that. that. We, lo we love Manscaped. <laughs> You love Manscaped. <laughs> oh, Fila, thank you so <laughs> thank much you for so talking much. to me about thank you. Stana. Thank you for such like incredible advice and just giving those little details behind the album because it's it's inspiring and they were such great stories. No, no, th Good. thank you for having me. It's a, it's a, it's a pleasure. Thank every you time. for coming all the way from Vegas. <laughs> all the way from Vegas. <laughs> all the way from, no, I mean that's hard. Like you, you, you yeah. know, you were out all night straight yeah. from a plane. From the ambiance. From the ambiance that we were the, talking the about. The thing about Vegas is the ambiance and the decor. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's, that's what that's, we go there that's for. The, that's what we're going there for. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.